Hello there folks, Bonky Cook here, your Lonely Achievement God, coming at you with more coverage for Power Wash Simulator. Uh, we're going to be covering the drill level, as you can see there, and the uh, head first achievement, which is for cleaning the drill head and the tip before uh, finishing anything else. Um, as always, we're going to start you off with the achievement, if the level has one, and then we'll cover some tips and tricks on how to make this uh, level a little easier for you. Uh, right off the bat, equip whatever the uh, most powerful washer that you own is. In my case, uh, I do have the very high-end one, but I'm sticking with the 3000 just because I think more people might be at the 3000 by this point in the game. Um, and we're going to actually switch to the yellow nozzle. That is my favorite nozzle, my go-to. So we have the tip over here, we have the head here. And what you're going to want to do is kind of run up to this area and go right and left so that you can tell where the head ends and the gripper begins. And you want to kind of, uh, like we've done on some of the other levels, cut off that edge so that you can get the uh, edge of the head cleaned and not clean too much of the gripper. Um, you'll notice, uh, excuse me, you'll notice that we are using the heavier nozzle, but the, the dirt here, the rust, is rather deep. Um, so if you are having trouble, what you can do is switch over to a soap nozzle. And uh, the soap nozzle isn't really dependent on the strength of your washer, so if you only have uh, the soap nozzle for the beginning washer, uh, or whatever, that's fine. That'll work for this. And then you're going to want to purchase some of the metal cleaner. Um, I'm in free play mode, so it gives you all the cleaners, but in the career mode, you only get a limited amount per level, so I only recommend trying to use one bottle of metal cleaner here. Uh, anything more than that, you're, you, you might run the risk of using too much and running out for other levels. It really depends on how much you've been using your soap throughout the game, and I can't really tell you that. Only you know how much of it you've been using. So once you get the uh, soap loaded in, you can see how much faster and easier it is to get rid of the rust using the soap nozzle. Uh, just do be careful. Watch that front gripper health bar because you don't want to get that cleaned before uh, anything or before you get the head and the tip done. So just make sure you're kind of running around, uh, all around, up and down, getting as much of it as you can. There we go, we got the head clean, and we got the tip clean. And now you can focus on everything else. Uh, again, you can run the metal cleaner across. Most of this, if not all of it, is metal. So uh, the metal cleaner is very useful for this. But the parts on this that are going to cause you trouble are these treads. Inside the treads are uh, wheels and equipment and you're gonna need to clean like the sides of them and it's very easy to miss something uh, up inside the tread. So I think there's five, five treads around the outside that you're gonna have to clean inside of. So be cautious of those areas, get underneath and from above on all of them. And then on the back here, there's these uh, sections, these indents around the back. And there was a couple of spots in there that were uh, tricky to see even with the d-pad uh, exposure of the dirt so um, that's kind of all I got for you folks if you have any questions for me you can always reach out to me and I'll do my best to answer your questions but if not I will see you guys in the next video